But then what's exactly be the red flags where we say um, investors or beginner investors suppose they look out um, for before they invest into um, the agri sector? If you say one agro investment firm don't spring up, what's exactly be the red flags where we say you need to pay attention to? Now, why we bring one guest where we say understand a lot? Now, financial expert and a YouTuber um, for inside um, um, YouTube. If you don't come across in videos, then you go understand. See, this man, now man, we say understand a lot about the financial sector. And we bring him um, come here so that at least he on explain the red flags really around um, the investment space. Mr. Tito Abumere. You're very much welcome, Mr. Tito. Thank you, Frank. How you doing? Yeah, fantastic one. Um, so, um, a lot they happen for the investment space, especially for the agri sector. And this mm. agri sector, we say we they talk about um, a lot of people go invest. They don't go even see their capital. They don't go see their principal, let alone the return on investment. What did exactly be the red flags in your own opinion? And what we say Nigerians suppose they look out for before investing in agri, um, agro investment firms? Okay, thank you, Frank. You think we say um, agri and agro investing now something way of recent don't become very popular. Yeah. Like, like 2019, we they see enough of them on Instagram. Yeah. Agro this, farm that, so on and so forth. And the whole concept is say, may you bring your money and then within a space of like nine months to a year, six months, depending on the package, if you see some really juicy returns, mm. like 20%, 30%, some they even offer, the highest way I see that period, now one week will offer you like 35% return on your investment within a nine-month period. Really juicy stuff, right? But that's, this thing came into play, like I said, 2019. But as, at we, are, as we are now, 2022, if you notice, not today, see them again. Mm. You think we say many of them don't enter big, as you mentioned in your intro, they don't get several issues in terms of they don't collect uh, investor money and they don't enter the business quite all right. But it be like, say, that 2020 COVID 19 pandemic affects many of them. Mm. So as a result, their business is no fair move. Maybe they are, they are crops where they, where they want to ship for export purposes. Or to distribute within the country within that 2020 slash last year 2021, they no fee meet up, so the crop and the livestock can't perish. Hmm. Meaning, say investor money don't go, so they don't get uh, any funds to pay investors. So, um, because of that, like I said, you know, today see these agro investments anymore, then they very very scarce. But regardless, whether agri investment or just normal investment, you get certain things where you go look out for to indicate, you know, that this may I put my money or may I not put my money as you call them, red yeah. flags. The first one would be say, um, who, is, who is in charge of these companies? Who they behind them? Are they people of pedigree? Then do they, do they understand the work? Do they understand the business? Which business they don't do before? Mm. Like these ones now, we don't get problems. Some don't pack up. Some, they are, the investors, they find them. Some legal action is being taken. If these people now won't go start another business or another investment you know, uh, product or another investment company, Anybody will research them online, go see, say, then they involved for in that. One, for one thing, we mm. get problem in 2021, 2022. And that alone, now indication, pay this, if this man, they behind this business, is not a good sign. So that's one red flag. Another red flag, they say, if it's too good to be true, it usually is, as white man, they talk. If anybody, they promise you 50% return on your investment within one year or within so, so, so months, you know, Nigerians, they like, they, even worldwide, people, they like, they hear that kind of sweet talk, but it's not realistic. But, but if, if you take a look at investment um, um, asset classes, where mm -hmm. they pay attention to Gen Zs, um, the return on investment, they're always high. Mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people don't, they spoil. Mm -hmm. Cryptocurrency don't spoil well, a lot of um, investment asset instruments for inside the economy. Um, how you see, uh, what do you to say be the relation? Because some people feel, say, if crypto, if you give me 50%, then why agri also no if you give me 50%? Why agri no if you give me 100%? What do you to say? Uh, if crypto, if you even give you more than well over 100%, 100% self. I remember just before they banned the whole cryptocurrency thing, well, it's not last year, I put small, small money down. Within a few months, I think I saw like times four of my investment. So that's this whole crypto thing, don't, don't spoil plenty of people, right? So we believe, say, it's possible to see 200%, 300% in a very short period of time. But I read economics for school, and in economics class, they tell you the higher the risk, the, um, no, the higher the returns, the higher the, higher the, the risk, risk. Yeah. the higher the possibility of risk. So these things are then they possible, sure. But just know that as you they put your money there, the risk of it messing up or going sideways, that one self day high, and you should be ready to, you know, face to the face the consequences and to face the music. And that's why many of us, because I they affected in this, some of these agri uh, investments mm. that now we're trying to get our money back. 
I, I am a victim as well. And I cannot talk too much because if I wanted to play it safe, you see the FGM savings bond where you mentioned yeah. 7 8%. That's the normal thing. And FGM bonds are very safe and secure. Very, very. Very, very. But the interest is very is low. Because as you said, Q2 inflation rate is about 16%. Yeah. So when you take 16% minus the 7 8% that FGM savings half. bond is half, <laughs> you're even losing money. You yeah. understand? But the, that is a, a safe investment. So people like me that want to see 35%, 30% on, within a year, I have to be ready to face the music if things go bad, as they have done. With, uh, the, uh, I, there are two that I'm invested in that now then they we did even not even the profit now we did try to find our the initial money we put down we did try to get them back okay but so ap apart thing. from t t um, looking at the team now we see mm -hmm. they they are the hem of affairs mm -hmm. for these investment companies mm -hmm. um which thing exactly you just say people you look out for again um you don't talk about the team you mm -hmm. don't also talk about their pedigree mm -hmm. and, and if it's too attractive and, and if, if they're too attractive mm -hmm. which thing exactly if you say people also look out for we say go give them say oh boy no go this place no go area Going forward, even for me now, if I want to invest in agri or any other investments, I'm now considering the old school guys. You know, the first generation banks, mm. they have subsidiaries of investment companies and they are very quiet, but then they there. You know, they know too they get controversy. Not like all these people who just came up of recent mm. and they are showing that, ah, we have expanded to Kenya. We are nationwide. Within one, two years, it seems too good to be true. So, what did they try to talk? Now, experience. Now, experience. And some get of those experience old school. For the game. Mm, some of those mm. old school establishments, asset, uh, the asset, this one, mm. asset management firms that are tied to, let's say, all those first generation bank. I don't know if I think they call their no, name. No, you don't think mentioned but, uh, no, but you know, first generation bank. First yeah. generation bank. All those old school guys. They have their assets and investment subsidiaries, mm. and those ones they have products. The returns that on their products are not too fantastic. But you go they able to sleep well at night. Mm. But you know go they see twenty percent, thirty percent. You go they see five percent, ten percent per annum. But you sleep well at night. So basically, what do you say be the reason for this? Um, do you think that um, a lot of them know they do their due diligence before going into the space, or they just feel say they get the preconceived notion of swindling Nigerians? Say they want they 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 want they, they want scam money. they want scam Nigerians or. They you know the proper due diligence before going into um, agri sector, before going into investment and all that. You know, so the Nigerian uh, space is a very peculiar one. It did very somehow. And the way Nigeria, they, they give us as individuals bus boosts, they give companies bus boosts as well. Some of these agri companies, I believe that they had very good intentions from the onset and they were actually doing well. They were expanding. They were, they, were, they, were, they were exporting. They were providing, like even this Ukraine-Russia thing. Yeah, wheat. They are, wheat, exactly. <laughs> now, this, in the middle of this, there are war. Now, we realize, say, Ukraine is one of the leading producers of wheat in the world. And the global economy is experiencing a shortage of wheat because of the problem Ukraine and Russia they face. And the price don't increase. And the price don't increase. So, now, in the midst of this agri thing with Nigeria, they do. Now, I realize, say, Nigeria, they supply the world, you know, with certain things. And we're doing quite well. But that COVID-19, you see, in 2020, mm. it just, so it gets some things in life where you don't just feel, see them as they come. You know, feel predict them. Mm. And it, it didn't hit them well. And to get back on their own two feet now, now the problem. And the problem, is say, as, the, as investors come, they complain, say, where is our money? Now, in regulation and SEC, don't enter, don't halt the, uh, don't, don't block Rocha for, you know, the gov for the companies to try and get themselves back. So Nigeria today affects, you know, how these people would want to take, uh, want to take run their business and get back on their feet. Uh, speaking of regulation, financial sector globally, in our sector, we say they highly regulated because in our sector, we say they deal with a lot of money. Mm. Speaking from banks, asset banks, um, investment banks, mm. different different institutions we for the sector, they also highly regulated. regulated yes. You know, if you talk, say, maybe they know regulate um, all these um, agri um, investment firms as Crowds, well. So and then, um, what do you to say be? Be, be, the, be the problem. We say regulators, actually SEC, Security and Exchange Commission, they give these people. Wait, so if you say, so if you say now, regulate, now the regulators now also contribute to this issue, or if you say regulators now even they help the masses um, mitigate the risk where they involve for investors. The, the regulators supposed to be the last saving grace, or the people who supposed to step in to help the, the investing public. But the truth be say, government to regulators to Everybody they learn. You see, this age where we're in, technology, crowdfunding, is, is new. 
So the regulations, the laws, they haven't really been there. So as government, they see as all these things, they happen, them too, they are coming up with the kind of policy we go try to keep everybody safe. We even see them for U.S. like a year or two ago where they call uh, Mark Zuckerberg and other tech guys right. to come and face uh, their Senate, panel, yeah. their panel to explain certain things. If government, they learn and they want to see as they go protect everybody. So, but the problem is say, these regulators, they know to they step in on time sometimes. But, and like I said, then they, are, then they learn, then they research before they put in place laws to protect everybody. So they are trying to, but sometimes, like I said, they are not moving fast enough. Mm. So it's plus minus in some cases. Thank you very <laughs> much, Mr. Tito Abumere. Mm. He don't come out, don't talk, say, make you day very, very careful before you invest inside a Greek investment. Make you make sure so you understand the team, do your due diligence yeah. well. Make you also make sure, say, <clears throat> You understand waiting you they investing because and if it did too good to be true, mm. a scam or make you be very, very careful.